Hollywood, here we come. A massive studio might soon set up shop in a city on the rise. As News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen explains, it would be a $100 million investment and come with hundreds of jobs. David Buttry with Music City Studio says the 47-acre creative campus would make Nashville a one-stop shop. Nashville has turned from this kind of, you know, amazing kind of sleepy secret tier two city to like a white hot tier two city and uh, the entertainment industry is waking up. More music videos, TV shows and broadcasts could be created here. A rough estimate, it could be around a 50-50 split between companies coming from out of state that would be hiring locally. For David Bennett, he says Monolith Studios looks forward to the LED technology. But you can create uh, many types of environments in, in, in a, uh, an, a virtual production workspace. You can be on the streets of Paris or the streets of London. You can be on the surface of the moon. The Hendersonville mayor says it would generate around 800 jobs and half a million in tax revenue. What $500,000 per year means to the mayor of Hendersonville is we have the opportunity to pave a lot more roads. As far as traffic concerns, he says there's an interchange expansion project in the works. In the new interchange that's going to be, gosh, I mean, it's going to be one right turn from this place is, is going to help el eliminate any concerns about future traffic. Uh, this is just a perfect location, not only in Hendersonville because of our background in music with Johnny Cash and Taylor Swift and Conway Twitty, but it's also the perfect location. Due to building height, city officials will have to vote on it. Since the zoning will have to be changed, there's actually a meeting Tuesday evening with the Planning Commission. After that, they'll be one step closer to breaking ground. We've got a great talent base and uh, a great technical base. So uh, I think you're seeing brighter days ahead for production in Tennessee. Reporting in Middle Tennessee, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5.